is up everyone welcome back to another video today i'm out exploring and we're actually in the middle of nowhere uh this spot was something i found marked on my map and just happened to come here never saw pictures of it or anything i do know that it's got a pretty crazy past to it and it's really big it's an abandoned modern mansion on literally 100 plus acres you can see like we're on just tons of land it's really overgrown you can actually see it behind me right here there's so much going on it's surrounded in these massive walls that uh you can tell used to be really nice but maybe it looks like there was a fire at some point but anyway i want to jump into it we literally just climbed or drove all the way up this really long driveway it's probably about a half a mile long but i don't want to bore you guys let's go ahead and jump right into it should we go in through the back or through the front you think just right through here guys i don't know if you can see behind me hopefully it focuses but yeah, you can see there's a big four car or five car garage down here. Massive five car garage. You can see the kitchen in there. This was all really modern. These are the walls I'm talking about, like over here. So jumping right into this, you can see this stuff is just all thrown outside the house. This is outside the garage section, like I obviously mentioned, but it doesn't even look that old, but you can see some of the stuff that burned and it's uh, falling down. This bottom part is pretty demolished, so just ignore all the spray paint. But um, you can see that this is just the garage area, just a bunch of random stuff thrown all over. And then in these back rooms, there's a wine cellar, a bedroom, and a couple other rooms as well. So guys, it's super dark down here, um, which this is actually in the garage. So this is one of the four garages. Looks like they converted the other side, so it's just like a door now, but it was four garages. Super dark in here. Kids destroyed this place with, I mean, just destroyed it and graffitied it. But inside this old freezer right here, you can see it's an old General Electric freezer is, I might have to blur it out, but it's like a dead fox with like a pickaxe or something through it. I can't tell if it's just like stuffed like it was like a fox that was stuffed and was in the house and kids destroyed it. But you can see this is, um, it's had to have been stuffed. The only thing that's weird is the eyes are missing and you can see the bones on the legs. Like that is pretty weird. I mean, that's honestly horrifying to be in a house that has that. It's really weird, isn't it? Yeah. And it's super dark back here. But yeah, we're gonna get more shots of it. And, uh, but yeah, that is, this is like a gruesome find. So yeah, guys, this is out back here. You can see, obviously, they had kids, and all the toys are just thrown all over back here, just sitting up here. They don't even really look that old. A lot of them are like, you know, th this could have only been abandoned for a couple years. Obviously, you can tell it looks like there was a fire up top, but I don't want to bore you guys too much, so I'm going to go ahead and just walk through the whole house. But we literally parked right there, and there's all this stuff here, so I figured we jump in and show you around at least this little bit. But yeah, let's go ahead and jump into the house. It feels good to be back out and exploring. I had a bunch of videos stacked, so I haven't really explored in probably a little bit, a couple months. Well, it doesn't feel that good to be back out exploring, to be honest. It's like about 104 degrees here. It's so hot out. But at least when we're inside the house, it'll be more shady. And in front of the house, you can't really see much. But this is all the house right here. You can see it. It's it's a modern. It's a it's a really big modern house. But it's all destroyed, overgrown, and nature just taking this place back over. Uh, here's a better shot of it, actually. Oh, that's pretty cool. It has like a peak right there. Oh, that's actually really cool. You can't actually even see how big this is. It goes all the way over here. And the inside looks nice already, like that like stacked stone going up. Let's go ahead and jump in there. So 
So I'm pretty sure I mentioned it, but there were some other explorers here as well, and I didn't want to get them talking, but this is us walking into the house. Right off the bat, you're hit with this massive uh, fireplace, and then you go through these big steel doors that had smashed windows, and then this leads you right into like the open floor plan of the house. You can see this would be the main living room with almost like indoor outdoor living not to mention it has massive ceilings as well all right guys so we're literally coming down out of that main room into a bathroom and the first bedroom look at these old switches right here look i had an intercom in the house that's how you know this place was very fancy for its time they have an intercom hanging out in the house this is the first bedroom oh my god look at all the feathers in that spider web <laughs> dude i'm like scared to walk in here but yeah, you can see the room is literally just, it's whatever. It's not even that big. It has like old wallpaper on it. But what is cool is that they had their own little deck that went outside here. And it looks like to a fire pit over there. You can see all this glass is shattered. That's the bathroom. It looks like they had an old dog house over there. And, oh no, that, that would just be a light. That's not even a fire pit. But you can see this stone, this like stone style walls and stuff are all over this house. I thought the inside of this house was gonna be warmer or colder, it's not. Look at this little tub. It's like a mini hot tub, <laughs> you see it? This is like a mini hot tub. This is like weird to even see. It's kind of cool. Well, you can see this is, they went with that whole modern style, obviously, and now it's really out of date, but it still is really cool. It's honestly not that tall either. My head's almost on the ceiling. Look at these old switches just in here. Everything is shattered though. Everything is just like destroyed. You hate to see houses like this. So as you can see, we're in this huge, really grand like living room. You can see how old is bugs everywhere. The only thing really left behind is this old beat up couch. You can see obviously they went with that modern style. It's still here, it's destroyed. And then right to the left of this couch is this kitchen. And you can see it's a pretty good sized kitchen. It's uh, all black, real modern looking. It's very sleek. Um, the stove, a bunch of the appliances were actually very small. This is kind of like a random little add-in, but the stove was pretty small. Um, the oven, I mean, the oven, I mean, is small, and then the refrigerators were small. But um, you can see they have like this indoor-outdoor living I've mentioned before. Goes out to this cool little deck here, and uh, they have two islands in this kitchen, which seems to be um, pretty popular nowadays if you have a pretty big house. But they had two islands here, and this has definitely been abandoned for at least at least a few years. Um, right over here is where you can see where the fire was, but just having this view to be able to come in and out of the kitchen would have been awesome. Heading over to the stove here, you can see this fridge was pretty small, but nonetheless, it's very beautiful and definitely had a lot of potential. Something that I found that was a bit different as well was a lot of these drawers and everything were all lined with like a red, uh, like suede material, which I'm not sure if that's you know, if that was cool back in the day or anything, but it almost just seems kind of gaudy to me. Um, either way, if this house was fixed up, I wouldn't complain about it. But all these drawers, it's like black and red. And uh, I guess that's just that modern look. Here's a look at that oven, which maybe I'm wrong, but it just seems a bit small. But I really enjoyed the ceiling at this place. Um, you can see the stain on these cabinets is almost like wearing off. Or it was like the first coat put on it so it wasn't really the best but here's a picture of both islands and it even had a separate wine fridge ice maker and freezer in it as well something really cool about this kitchen though is the main stereo system was right here so all those intercoms could come out from you know any of the rooms talk from any room to each other and even from the kitchen you know saying hey the, you know dinner's ready you can uh, come out to the kitchen now but yeah even this hallway right here 
was something just so strange that was definitely done. Maybe it was from kids partying in here, but this, there's no way this would have been in the house when obviously it was done. This is just kids vandalizing, and I guess you would call that art, but this goes down to another bedroom down here and bathroom as well. And uh, as per usual, this bedroom has the outdoor access as well, and then the intercom, which is more smashed in on this one too. It's a shame too because you know they spent a lot of money to build this house, you know they spent a lot of money on the land, and then you're seeing like little gadgets like that, like the intercom or the radios throughout the rooms with the speakers, you just know that they spent a ton of money, you know, building this place. Because like I said, just to have any house that's, you know, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000 square foot on 100 acres, I mean, even if you're in the middle of nowhere, it still costs a pretty penny. Dude, these bathrooms are so small. See the mold growing? The bathrooms are tiny. Not to mention, like I said before, these oddly shaped tubs. This is a shower, obviously, but even just like the layout of it, like why is that little seat in there? And the bathrooms are really tight. They're all narrow, too. You can see how skinny these doorways are. This house is, although it's modern, it's definitely pretty old looking. So you can kind of get an idea of like how narrow these things are. <laughs> Dude, if I were to walk through, I'd probably hit both my shoulders. I'm not, they're both hitting. I actually know they're not. My arms are. But yeah, come in here. Show them this. Yeah. Like, if you were to even sit on, like, you got no room. These things, like, this house is built very odd. When you see it from the outside, it's like a mansion, and everything else is just like. When you get inside, it's not that big. I mean, it is big, it's a nice house, but you know what I mean? Every bathroom is like tiny. A lot of the bedrooms are small. The only thing that was cool so far is the kitchen. I just wish there was more stuff left behind. All right, everyone, so let's go ahead and jump into the master bedroom. I hit this uh, bedroom on the left and we never went to the right. So this is the master bedroom and let's go ahead and jump into it. So this is actually the master bedroom in here. You can see it's way bigger. Look at this old wallpaper on here. So much graffiti, this is just destroyed. But this is awesome though, to have like sliding doors with the big curtains. Sorry for it being kind of dark in here, but there's so many trees, the sun barely gets in. But yeah, this is sweet. I'm gonna go over and go into the master bathroom, take a look out over here. I guess this, like I said earlier, the dog house was over there, you can see it. Maybe this is where they just had their dog in this little fenced in area. It's like I said, they're on like a hundred acres, but I'm sure they didn't want to pay for an invisible, uh, invisible fence for their dog. But these lights are really cool. I'm not sure if you can, if you guys are understanding what I'm saying, but when I say these lights, it's right over here. Like these things had like a light in them, obviously, and that would have been sweet. I love modern houses. I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but I really like modern houses, and. This is like a retro, like an old school modern, probably from like the 60s or 70s, but it's still really cool. Also, I meant like 80s, by the way. I don't think I said 60s or 70s, probably like the 80s. But yeah, this is the master bedroom. And then let's go into the bathroom and the closet area. Uh, so this was the walk-in closet right here. So much black mold, old switches all throughout the house. Oh, this is actually really big. And this connects to the bathroom as well, I'm guessing, because here's the bathroom right here. That closet goes all the way around into the bathroom. Here's the actual toilet, and this is where the mirror was, but you can see it's all shattered and falling off. It's his and her sinks. You can see the other one over there with a big, I guess you would call it a hot tub, but kind of literally just looks like a normal tub in there with some marble around it. Not really a hot tub at all, but there's a ton of flies in here. Oh my God, the ceiling's like falling apart. But yeah, you can see the sinks over there, his and hers. And our like fake hot tub or fake jacuzzi whirlpool thing. Big skylight right here. Yeah, let's continue walking around. Based off of all the flies, I'm kind of wondering what's going on. Oh, look at this. This drawer right here had built in electricity, if you can see it, with a tray. So that's how you know there was probably a TV or something on this. Uh, this is like a stand up shower. Here's our shower. This goes back into the um, closet area that I was just in and wraps all the way back around.
You can see too, this was all glass hung up here around like this hot tub. You can see some of it still ripped off there. But yeah, everything, it's like, it was built as if this place was like, like a mega mansion, but it's almost like everything's kind of squished, squished in and down. Like my head's almost as tall as that and the sink's really low. So maybe, ow. Maybe they just wanted to uh, have the feel of a massive mansion, but kind of made it like a Mick mansion. All right, so I'm still in the bathroom and I showed you guys this toilet and then we saw this little handle here and we were wondering what it was. And if you pull it down, that's actually a fold out scale. So the scale's built into the wall. That's actually pretty cool. It's made by Borg or Borge, whatever. But yeah, that's actually pretty cool. I would have never even noticed that. My buddy noticed it. But look how tight this bathroom is. Barely getting in here. But still is really cool. And the master bedroom is definitely way bigger than the rest. The other ones are honestly kind of small. So I passed this, but you can see that there's speakers up here in the vents. So that definitely goes to like the intercom and the radio that we found that's played all throughout the house. There's one up there. Maybe come all the way over past the vent. That's another one right there. This is something I skipped over right here. This bar actually can close. You can move the wall so it's not really um, an open floor plan anymore so you can't see into the kitchen. And then there's also just a bunch of like hidden cabinets all throughout the house. This looks like a wall, but obviously you can probably see that little hinge and obviously it's open. Now this is a closet. So if this was all closed up, you kind of just think it's a wooden wall and then you open it, there's two little handles, and it actually folds out to be a pretty decent sized closet that I'm sure they, you know, hung coats or whatever. Anyone who came in right from the front door could just hang their stuff up there. And then this was also something I skipped over when I first walked in. Ginormous steel doors, almost like it's fortifying itself like a bunker. Really heavy duty doors. Um, it probably doesn't do too much because there is glass next to both of them, but it, these are very strong doors that are actually pretty hard to move as well. So I briefly mentioned it before, but this is like a, I don't even know, this was like a washer and dryer right here, you could tell. So you would come through the kitchen, close this pocket door that they have sitting here. And this would be like your washer and dryer area with like a slop sink it looks like. This probably would have been like an, uh, an iron board. Oh, look, there's actually a little bird's nest up there little ironing board and like probably supplies just all throughout here i just wish i had all the furniture and everything still left inside they had the double island look years ago this is like coming back like the double islands and kitchens and they made it work pretty good that's like their i guess that no it probably wouldn't have even been their dinner table they probably could have had another one over there Then it goes into this little freezer down here. So many drawers, and then this is just like a little freezer with nothing in it. Ice maker. Yeah, so we noticed that there was no steps going down. So it was probably in a closet or something. Any spiders? So there got to be steps. We were looking throughout the whole house on how to get down here, and we couldn't figure out how. Is that glass? It looks like a diamond earring. Where does this go? It's locked. Think of where we're at in the house right now, right? We would have been in that the kitchen, the bedroom. bedroom. Close to the kitchen, maybe no. Because the deck, the back deck, right here, right outside right the kitchen. Right. Where does it go though? Let's go back down there. I'm not sure, guys. We're literally just trying to figure out where that uh, door goes to. Did you check this door? Uh, it's just to go into the garage. It's so dark in here, but we're just back in the garage, the part we didn't walk. Because there's just really like an industrial kind of area, like an unfinished garage. I don't know what this would have been, but it's like storage shelves and stuff like that. And has, oh, this could have been like a wine cellar. Definitely a wine cellar. This is a wine cellar, right? Definitely. Yeah, because this, they have like the wine racks and stuff. Yeah, this would have been like a wine cellar and they kind of had it in their basement. I guess you would consider a basement. It's really just like a garage area. But yeah, that's pretty cool. So going over here, out of the little wine cellar room, uh, there's like a shower area back here. So you can see there's a shower. Was this a bedroom down here? This could have been like a little bedroom. Oh my God. Dude, it's so dark back here. It's like really creepy. It's like an old bed that's just destroyed and like melted in the ground. There's the bathroom. This is weird back here, isn't it? 
almost like an in-law suite, except what is that motor for? What is that with the toilet there and stuff? Just super weird back here. I'm not really sure what's going on. This is like a blanket or a mattress that's just destroyed. I know everything's tiny. This is just like a closet. There's nothing to. Holy Sparrow. There's a. It's made out of cedar though. I thought it was a sauna at first. Oh God, there's a ton of flies in here. There's probably some dead in here. All right, everyone, I think that's gonna wrap this video up. If you guys did enjoy, please like, comment, and subscribe. Follow all the social media links down below. I'm always posting on Instagram behind the scenes of the renovation stuff, abandoned spots I go in, I'm posting on there. It seriously helps out a lot. I mentioned in the beginning of the video, 50% of the people who view my stuff aren't even subscribed, so go ahead and click that subscribe button. It's free, it helps the most. If you can't, you know, if you can't purchase merch or anything like that, that's one way to literally help out a ton. It's just liking, commenting, and subscribing on all the videos. This Explore was a blast. Let me know if you guys wanna see another Explore next or the renovation videos, but without dragging this on too long, I'll see you in the next video. Later.